Hi, I'm CJ. I hope my YouTube channel, 5-Minute Christianity, is truly a blessing to you. Just want to call attention to one little thing. At the beginning of each video, I try to include the name of the sermon from which it came, so that you can go back later and watch the entire sermon when you have time. That's all. Thanks. An irreligious, immoral government that cares nothing about God and nothing about His law will self-destruct in the disintegration of its own godless complacency. Such a society will be open to all kinds of religion, all kinds of moralities, all manner of freedom, all preferences, in summary, all lies, all deceptions, all corruptions are accepted. That society will lose control of everything. It will lose control of everything. Chaos will begin to take over, and the only way the chaos will be slowed down will be when dictatorial control or maybe even a police state is formed where thought and behavior is fixed and anybody out of bounds is punished. Eventually the chaos has to be controlled. We're not headed toward socialism. We could well be headed toward dictatorship in our world. Is this hard to grasp? Remember the America that was, some of you? This is not a Christian nation. There's no such thing. It never has been a Christian nation. Even the Founding Fathers were not true Christians. But they did understand that Christianity was a fixed necessity because it established divine law, and when people knew that this was law from God, it controlled their behavior. Biblical ethics, biblical patterns of morality were honored, respected, and expected. Marriage, family, virtue, work, relationships, success were all connected to noble ideals that are found in Scripture. That's long gone, long gone. Unlikely to ever appear in the lifetime of anybody sitting here because evil men just get worse and worse. Ryle had some serious convictions about government and about the worship of God and about the law of God. And he said, if England separates God from the state, England will be destroyed morally, religiously, ethically, and in every other way. It is today an absolute wasteland, spiritually speaking. You drive a massive wedge between the state and the church, and you're going to end up with modern Europe and the United States. Is that progress? Is there any sense? in which the government welcoming millions of Muslims into their historically Christian traditional countries is not going to result in chaos? Because now you have the collision of a traditional Christian morality, a very different Muslim morality, and a fast-developing immorality. Everything is out of control. Removing the acknowledgment of the true God, the authority of the Bible, the voice of the true church, the moral education of youth and the elevation of the Bible and the gospel, removing that is the path to destruction. And it's a downhill run.